All right, guys, we're going to talk about how to increase your fitness and what should be your priorities. And what we're going to use today is we're going to use the triangle uh, fitness domains that uh, CrossFit uses. So, uh, what CrossFit says to make you fit is this nifty triangle that we've got drawn right here. All right, so the first level is nutrition. The second level is metabolic conditioning. You write that down as metcon. The third level is gymnastics. The fourth level is weightlifting. The very top level, sport. All right, so what we do in our programming that we do in everyday class, we always look at this right here as the way to make us more fit, okay? So, nutrition being the biggest portion of the triangle is obviously the most important area. The second most important is your met metabolic conditioning. So that is your, some people call it cardio uh, in CrossFit. It's other things besides cardio. Cardio not being just running or doing uh, rowing and stuff like that, but your actual conditioning during a workout as well. Gymnastics being how you control your body weight, okay? How you move yourself through time and space. Weights, weightlifting being how you move an object through time and space. This isn't just uh, snatches and cleans and jerks. This is also if you do wall balls and other uh, exercises like kettlebell swings, you gotta think a little bit broader than just uh, doing cleans and snatches and deadlifts, all right? And sport being what your sport is. For some, it might be the sport of CrossFit. Uh, for most, it might be playing pickup basketball, playing softball, uh, just doing typical everyday like activities like if you're playing, even cornhole is considered a sport. Uh, Hand-eye coordination, okay? This is, this is where sport would come in, okay? But you'll notice the priorities, okay? So uh, number one priority is here, number two, Metcon, number three, gymnastics, number four, weightlifting, number five, sport, all right? What you'll find though is that for a lot of people, they'll get these priorities kind of mixed up. They'll actually think that one's more important than the other. And that's not just, uh, you know, anybody. That's like everybody does this, all right? Uh, even, uh, even we have been victim of doing this ourselves, all right? But let's talk about what can increase our, our fitness, all right? So if we increase the triangle, let's say we increase the triangle, that means I'm going to get better nutrition, I'm going to eat better, I'm going to eat cleaner, I'm actually going to sleep the, the proper amount, uh, I'm going to eat nuts, seeds, vegetables, meats, okay, healthy fats. My nutrition increases, guess what else increases after that? So then, I made the bottom of the triangle bigger, which is going to make the next portion of the triangle grow without even really working that hard at it. Now that I've grown my Metcon, what happens next is my gymnastics will, will improve because of that. My gymnastics improve, and my metcon improves, and my nutrition improves. My weights go up. I start increasing my weightlifting. If my weights, my gymnastics, metcon, and nutrition go up, I get better at whatever sport I want to play, or whether that be CrossFit, baseball, basketball, football, whatever you want to do. Like if you just want to go out and play frisbee golf, it gets better, okay? So now the triangle has become bigger because I have started off improving the very bottom part, okay? The very bottom part. Now let's say uh, that we don't go with our, let's say our nutrition, we look at it, view it as not that important. Let's say that we think that weights are the most important. I need more weightlifting. I gotta do more strength. I gotta do more of this, this. I gotta snatch and clean and jerk every single day. Well, guess what happens if I do the weights and I make that a priority because it's not the top priority? My potential decreases. The triangle now has decreased, okay? So the triangle will kind of look like this now. While my sport will increase, maybe a little bit, the triangle will be missing vital pieces that could make my weightlifting better. So let's say my weightlifting increase just a little bit just because in all reality, doing cleans and snatches will actually make you sometimes better because you'll actually understand the movement and your coordination. Not necessarily going to make you stronger over time though, okay? What that means is pure strength will always trump uh, your cleans and your snatches. So if you get a bigger deadlift, 
a bigger back squat, uh, work on your core work, that's gonna make you actually get better at cleans and snatches, okay? Cleans and snatches come with repetitions. So the more repetitions you do, the PVC pipe or lighter weight, of course you're gonna get better, okay? So that's why when people first start CrossFit, they're like, holy cow, I started at 135 on my clean, and now I'm all the way up to 225 within a month. That's called fast adaptation, okay? You're gonna adapt fast because you're learning, okay? You're learning quickly. Once you hit 225 though, what happens? It takes you like three or four months, maybe to a year to add five to 10 pounds. That's okay, okay? That's your top end strength. That means that's where you're at currently. In order to increase that, you need to get your top end strength up. That's a whole nother topic, but you can notice at the top of my triangle now, I'm missing a whole huge gap right here. So guess what happens? That's like the tree uh, that has a bad base. So if the tree has a bad base, I'm gonna be broken. I'm gonna be broken. So my triangle is actually gonna look like this. Because I didn't spend the time on nutrition. I didn't spend the time on me metabolic conditioning. I didn't spend the time on gymnastics. I'm missing a whole big chunk of my triangle that can make me better. If I miss this chunk, it's weak. The triangle's now weak. So what that means is while my weights might go up a little bit, if I might get a little bit better at sport, all this other area is gonna, over time, is gonna be like a, uh, a leaking faucet, okay? If you don't fix the leaking faucet within two or three months, it becomes a drain of water coming out, okay? So you don't wanna be that leaking faucet, you wanna have a strong, supportive base. And what does that mean, okay? For a lot of people, this means get simply better, simple stuff that you can fix on your own sometimes, like nutrition. Proper, nu proper nutrition every day, you will get better. You will simply get better at workouts. A lot of people have experienced weight loss in here have already been, like you can go up and ask them, ask them. Someone like Jay Jones, his Metcon has got better because he has gotten fitter through nutrition, okay? If your nutrition increases, your Metcon's gonna increase the something we talked about. If you know how to move your, your body, if you can do a handstand walk on your hands or any of that other stuff, uh, if you have strict pull-ups, strict chest-to-bar pull-ups, uh, strict dips, if that stuff is good, don't you think that would make you better at snatching and cleaning jerk, which is a highly coordinated movement? It takes a lot of coordination to kick up on a wall. It takes a lot of coordination to walk on your hands. It takes a lot of coordination to do a kipping pull-up. It takes a lot of coordination to do a muscle-up. So if my coordination increases, I'm going to increase my weights without even having to really do them that, that often. In CrossFit, this is what... It's the priority. If you look at the CrossFit Games, they just did a 7K trail run. Where's the 7K trail run uh, exist at? Boom. What do they do after the 7K trail run? A deadlift ladder of 10 minutes. Okay? Deadlift ladder 10 minutes. 7K trail run is going to last a lot longer than 10 minutes. So see where the priority was at already? You can see that in the CrossFit Games as it's going on. Max weightlifting. Okay? If we're going to max our weights in uh, CrossFit. A one rep max in the open, the regionals and games only happens once. That's less than 10%. Less than 10%. So why are you worried about whether your max uh, snatch is high right now? Okay? You should be worrying about, hey, can I do a kipping pull-up the correct way? Can I do strict pull-ups the correct way? Can I actually get up on my hands? Greg Glassman's already stated there's not enough people that are doing trying to get a heavier deadlift and trying to get up on their hands and walk. We've got too many people worrying about whether their clean and jerk is the max. That's great. That's a great sport. That's part of the sport. That's an aspect of it. But again, that is fourth on the priority list of being fit. By getting a one rep max clean and jerk does not mean that your uh, blood's going to be better in a, in a screen. It does not mean that your heart rate's going to be better. It does not mean any of that. Yes, it will help, but that's not the important part. Uh, and just like for some other people too, they put Metcon up here. Okay? They put Metcon, they put, or not sorry, they put uh, Metcon as bigger. They don't, they just take weights out. They're like, you know what? Weights aren't that important to me. Running 5K every day is what's important to me. So here we go. A little tip. Doing more pure strength weightlifting and more uh, actual cardio, like your 85 to 90% and not killing yourself every day, actually gets you fitter, actually burns fat, and actually keeps your body from being stressed out. Doing a, a wad every day, doing Fran every single day of the week. You've heard us talk about this in class. Doing 21, 15, 9 every single week is going to put your body under stress. If your body's under stress, guess what happens? You store fat. So 
around our belly is where a lot of people see this because a lot of people have stress. That is where you store fat at. So guess what? That guy that's doing 21-15-9 and killing himself, following cock train, following uh, Lord knows what, like competitor's wad, when he can't do a simple strict pull-up, all he's doing, he's not really getting that much fitter. He's actually putting his body under more stress. So more stress means I'm going to hold more fat, which means my nutrition needs to get better, which means my Metcon should get better. If my Metcon gets better, my weightlifting will get better because I'll be able to do weightlifting more often. Think about this. If you can't uh, walk a mile without getting out of breath, how are you going to do uh, an EMOM every minute on the minute for 30 minutes of deadlift for two reps? After about five or six minutes, you're not going to be able to deadlift anymore because you're going to be that physically tired. So if I actually have the background to do this, like the background of a good cardio base, I'll be able to weightlift more. I'll be able to do it more often. I'll be able to recover better between each set and between each day. If that makes sense. Like if you're wondering why the CrossFit Games athletes are so good and how their strength numbers keep climbing but their watt times keep decreasing, it's because every single thing to them is considered cardio. Think about that. When you do a uh, Fran 21-15-9, you get that intense burn in your arms and legs and you want to throw up. At CrossFit Games athletes, cardio base, their Metcon is so large that to them, that's like going and just doing like a, uh, an 800 meter run. You come in, you're breathing hard, your lungs are on fire, that's about it. When uh, like the top level athletes like Rich Froning and those guys do power cleans and like heavy power cleans for like minutes upon minutes, like 30 minutes, all right? That is cardio to them. Why do they look the way they do? What did we just talk about? If you do more strength and more cardio, you're gonna get fitter, you're gonna get more ripped up, you're gonna get more cut if you do more strength and more cardio. If you're doing lactic endurance back to back to back to back to back days, it's gonna turn into stressor for your body. You're gonna store fat. You're gonna store fat, okay? You're gonna, it's not gonna be a good thing for you, all right? You're gonna feel like crap. You're never gonna recover. Like recovery is one of the biggest things, okay? I'd even put recovery down here. If we drew the triangle even bigger, recovery would be right here. That'd be your number one. Number one priority would be recovery. That's actually when you get fitter. Not while, like, not while you're doing the, the work that you're doing. The proper recovery is what gets you better. So if you did uh, 30 clean and jerks for time and you didn't recover the right way, you really didn't reach your potential yeah. of getting better that makes sense. So if you have any of these questions, come talk to us about it. But think about your triangle. What's, it, what's important to you? What's your priority? Are your priorities lining up? Uh, are, like, take a look at the program in currently class. Are the priorities lining up? Is this how it looks when you come to class? Okay? Seeing which one's important, which one's not important. Uh, well, they're all important. Sorry. But seeing where your priorities sit. Okay? If you line up your priorities, you'll get fitter. Okay, and we'll do more of these videos to kind of explain stuff uh, because sometimes in class we need to spend more time on the actual class. It's less about talking like this. So uh, share this with your friends if you want to. But this is our uh, CrossFit stand. This is our model of our programming, basic programming, okay? Uh, when you go to be a competitor, other things fall in line. But when you're a competitor, this is the same mentality you should have. This is how you should get back, okay? Uh, Matt Frazier currently leading the CrossFit Games. I uh, won, won a 7K trail run the other day. Guess what he worked on all last year at Metcon? Guess what he made a priority? Nutrition. Crazy enough, he's doing paleo. So he made nutrition his important thing. He made Metcon his second important thing. He already had a huge base for weightlifting because he is a former uh, weightlifter. He made his gymnastics better. And guess what's happening with his sport? His sport is like now you're, because he's leading after day, after day one. His sports went boom. His triangle's got way bigger because he increased these two, and then these two are priority. Simple, simple. You can look at it at his program. His programming is offered online. You can see it. But if you have any questions, uh, just come ask one of the coaches. Ask me, Brett, Paul, or Joe Brown, uh, or Caleb, uh, and we'll talk more about this. But this is how we view you getting fitter. Okay. And the number, number one thing is making sure that the percent of work each day is on that too. So when you look at a class per day, 
is uh, Metcon a certain percent of the day? Is the gymnastics a certain percent of the day? Is the weightlifting a certain, certain percent of the day? Then you look at the week. Is Metcon a certain percent of the, for the week? A certain percent for gymnastics and a certain percent for weightlifting. All right.